hello students welcome back so we had stopped at smart cities now we will start with cloud computing another emerging technology and again something that every person is using it so cloud computing is an emerging trend in the field of it by computer based services are delivered over the internet or over the cloud and it is accessible to the user from anywhere using any device this is called cloud computing so in cloud computing there are some services that are provided over the internet or cloud that can be accessed from any device anywhere tablet laptop computer uh, you know smart smart tv etc so these are some features of cloud computing most of the cloud computing have these features they are easy they are easy maintenance they have a large network access availability resource pooling on demand self service automatic system they are economical they are enough security pay as you go and measured services the services that the cloud the services that are offered over the internet or the cloud can be a software it could be servers it could be database it could be storage it could be so many other options this is how a cloud architecture looks like so you you can see there is a cloud with all the services inside it and on the front end that is below is the users who want it and back end is the cloud computer and in the middle of the two is internet these services are provided by companies called cloud service providers and they usually uh, charge a pay for use basis so if you want to use it for depending on which service you have chosen if it's a storage service or a database service then you have to pay according to the package you select if it is you know using something temporarily then it will be pay as you use service through cloud computing a user can run a bigger application or process a large amount of data without having the required storage or processing power on their personal computer as long as they are connected to the internet so through cloud computing we can use bigger applications that for example there's a software that is very big and my laptop does not have space to keep it install it then i will ask i will find a cloud service that is providing me that software in that case without having to store the software on my personal computer without my personal computer having the processing power required for that software i will be able to use that software over the internet there are also many other features cloud computing offers cost effective on demand resources a user can avail need based resources from cloud at a very reasonable cost cloud services there are three types of cloud services iaas caas and saas so we can call it a cloudy stuff the full forms for saas is software as a service caas is platform as a service and iaas is infrastructure as a service a service corresponds to any facility provided by that cloud now cloud service models there are three saas caas and iaas now saas that is software as a service 
is, is normally used by the main user, the end user. Platform as a service is used by application developers. And infrastructure as a service is used by infrastructure and network architects. What does it provide? Task provides a pack a software or an application. Let's say I have a video editing software that I want that I don't have on my computer. If I find a service that's providing me that software on the internet, then I am the end user and software is the product. In PAAS, the platform is the platform is shared. The OS or the application stack is what is provided. In IAAS, the server storage network is shared. So there are three standard models. Software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. We look at infrastructure as a service first. The IAAS providers can offer different kinds of computing infrastructure, such as servers, virtual machines, storage, and backup facilities network components, operating systems, or any other hardware or software. I, using IAAS from the crowd, a user can use the hardware infrastructure located at a remote location to configure, deploy, and execute any software application on that cloud infrastructure. They can outsource the hardware and software on a demand basis and pay as per the usage. So they can save the cost of software or hardware or any other infrastructure as well as save the cost of setting up maintenance and security. So these are the services these are the examples of infrastructure as a service. Have you used any of this? Select any one and do some research over it. What kind of infrastructure do they provide over the cloud? Platform as a service. In your, the cloud provides the facility where a user can install and execute an application without worrying about the underlying infrastructure and their setup. It provides a platform or environment to develop, test, and deliver software applications. The user has complete control over the deployed application and its configuration. It provides a deployment environment for developers at a much reduced cost, lessening the complexity of buying and managing the underlying hardware and software. These are some examples of platform as a service. Software as a service. In software as a service, it provides an on-demand access to application software, which usually requires a licensing or subscription by the user while using Google Doc or Dropbox to edit a document online, we use SaaS, that is software as a service. A user is not concerned about the installation or the configuration of the software application. 
as long as the required application or software is accessible. That is all they are bothered with. A user is provided access to the required configuration setting of the application software that they will be using present. they have full control over the software that they are using. These are some examples of that. So in all three, you will pick one and you will try and get more information about it. Okay. So these are examples of all three. Select one and all and get more information about it. On the right hand side, you can see the clients or the users who use that service. SAS is used by an end user like us. We use Gmail, Google Doc, Basecamp, etc. Pass is used by developers. Examples are Force.com, App Engine, and Azure. And IaaS is used by system admin. So examples are Rackspace.com, GoGrid, AWS, etc. That brings us to the next topic: grid computing. Grid computing. In this, a grid is a computer network of geographically dispersed and heterogene heterogeneous computational resources. Unlike cloud, whose primary focus is to provide services, a grid is more application specific and it creates a sense of virtual supercomputer with an enormous processing power and storage. The constituent resources are called nodes and these different nodes temporarily come together to solve a single large task and to reach a common goal. So basically a grid is a computer network of geographically dispersed and heterogeneous computational resources. That means all these resources are not in the same location and they are not the same. A grid is more application specific and so it creates a sense of supercomputer with an enormous, it creates a sense of supercomputer with an enormous processing power and storage. The constituent resources in this grid computing are called nodes. All the resources are called nodes and different nodes temporarily come together to solve a single large task and to reach one common goal. So how does grid computing work? In general, a grid computing system requires at least one computer, that is a server, which handles all the administrative duties of the system. A network of computers running special grid computing network software, there's a special software, and a network of computers all must have this software. And a collection of computer software called middleware. So these are the fundamental units of a grid architecture, it requires hardware, computer, servers, and network. Middleware is by connecting numerous nodes in terms of data, as well as CPU, a middleware is required to implement the distributed processor architecture. The global toolkit is one such software used for building grids. The global, 
toolkit and it is also an open source do you remember open source we have done in the first chapter it includes software for security resource management data management communication fault detection etc where is grid computing used telecommunication organization government offices multinational companies financial organization etc there are many types of grids but in our book we have only two types that is data grid and computational grid or processor grid in data grid it is used to manage large and distributed data having required multi user access in cpu or processor grid it is where processing is moved from one pc to another as needed or a large task is divided into sub task and divided to various nodes for parallel processing grid computing is different from iaas that is infrastructure as a service in infrastructure as a service there is a service provider who is renting the required infrastructure to the user in grid computing multiple computing nodes join together to solve a common computational problem so this is the difference between grid and cloud in cloud it is rented in grid they come together and they solve the problem together blockchain technology ah uh, i'm going to show you a video on cloud computing to end today's class and this technology we will start next class your homework will be to do the research of each and every computing service that is iaas saas and paas okay and don't forget to leave a comment below with what you found which service provider was providing which service so you will take an example of saas and you will write that this uh, for example google doc so it was providing a word spread it was providing a software to make document okay so this is what you are going to comment on this video we will see a video now okay on demand to the free of it courses via the internet with pay as you go price instead of buying owning and maintaining physical infrastructure and servers you can access technology courses such as computing power storage and data data on an as needed basis from a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services. Organizations of every type, size, and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of reasons, such as data backup, disaster, email, virtual desktop, software development and testing, big data analytics, and customer-facing web apps. For example, healthcare companies are using the cloud to develop more personalized treatment for patients. Financial services companies are using the cloud to power real-time fraud detection and prevention. And video game makers are using the cloud to deliver online games to millions of players around the world. With cloud computing, your business can become more agile, reduce costs, instantly scale, and deploy globally in minutes. Cloud computing gives you instant access to a broad range of technology so you can innovate faster and build nearly anything you can imagine from infrastructure services to compute storage and databases to internet of things machine learning data analytics and much more you can deploy technology services in a matter of minutes and get from idea to implementation in several orders of magnitude faster than before this gives you the freedom to and testing ideas to differentiate customer experiences and transform your business so just adding machine learning and intelligence to your application and get a personalized experience
with your customers, and improve their engagement. You don't need to make large upfront investments in hardware and overpay for capacity you don't need. Instead, you can trade capital expense for variable expense, and only pay for IDs as you can see. With cloud computing, you access your systems in the cloud in real time as they're needed. You can scale your systems up and down to grow or shrink capacity instantly as your business needs to. Cloud computing also makes it easy to expand to new regions and deploy globally in minutes. For example, Amazon Web Services has infrastructure all over the world. You were able to deploy your application in multiple physical locations in just a few clicks. Putting applications in closer proximity to end users reduces latency and improves their experience. No matter your location, size, or industry, the cloud frees you from managing infrastructure and data centers, so you can focus on what matters most to your business. So that was cloud computing for us. See you all next time. Stay home. Stay safe, keep learning, and take care.